Okay guys, um, trade breakdown on today's EU trade and um, in this one I want to discuss a little bit of the uh, previous day high and previous day low uh, concepts and also why it was a match with this trade. Um, besides that I want to tell uh, a daily bias doesn't always uh, mean you can't scalp uh, if it the bias is long for example. It doesn't always mean you can't scalp shorts because maybe it already broke and it retaces the uh, broken high for example and then you can perfectly find short if the other confluences of course um, come over but in this case um, if you play it back to here you can see we have a daily high here and we have a daily low over here on this bearish candle but as you can see this next day did not um, break this low or did not close below this body and uh, what that means is that the next day if it didn't close below will be bullish so uh, we aim because it is a bullish bias today we aim for this high to get taken out and that's exactly what it's doing now and in this case it's for both sides so you can see this as a sweep where we continue uh, our bullish momentum so let's go to my setup now and that was my target but as you can see uh, my target did not get that because we first swept all these hellos over here to fill some zone uh, some imbalance also here and then it's it, it pumped to the upside but for me this basically was a scalp I wanted to take out this high and I saw a lot of confluences so first of all um, we are bullish we were bullish all, all morning so uh, yeah with the daily bias in mind like uh, we can take out this um, daily high over here uh, we can look for, for longs and everything else confirmed we made a major break of structure over here so what do we expect after that we expect a pullback to some level over here and then a continuation to the upside targeting these highs and targeting the daily high uh, was just for fun for me i had five lots open 45 were off at um, 6r over here so let's dive into it uh, to start with, I saw this IDM being created and then make a higher high. Um, you could say it is filled on a higher time frame, this all is imbalance, but this, this all still is imbalanced to me. If you take it from this to this, only one minute. So there was more reason to go lower. And uh, personally, I would mark out this zone. Um, let's see. This is the wrong button. I would mark out this whole zone. Basically from the IDM to the low. But what I saw happening was also it slightly swept liquidity here and then it moved and once it came back in this zone I wasn't really watching here yet and I believe it also did not confirm I was not watching trace here yet it could it could also just uh, retrace from here and go to the upside but what it actually did was it went to this internal range liquidity and mitigated this refined zone and from there I basically watched confirmation and on these seconds it's very clear too Play back a little bit because I can't be all scrolling. Um, let's zoom in on this on a five minute, on a five second. My bad. You can see we make it clearly making lower lows and lower highs over here. If you follow my mouse, boom. Then we make a new high, which mitigated this supply zone. So what do you want to see if it continues to go bearish? You want to see it break this low over here. This one. 
to continue its downtrend. What did it do? It made a higher low or it made a new low. Let's call it a new low. From there, it simply um, gave a change of character, breaking this high. Because this high already mitigated this level, so there is basically no reason for price to come back deeper in this zone if it really wants to go lower, if you, mean, if you understand what I mean. So this was a sign for me, if we break this high, we can look for longs to fill all of this imbalance and maybe respect the higher time frame trend and take out those highs. And that's exactly what it did. As you can see, it perfectly played out. I believe I was risk free when it came around here, when it broke these highs. Uh, almost stepped me out break even. Uh, one pip. It all, yeah, it was one pip away from my break even. Um, but yeah, since, since it also took those break even of those traders, mine it didn't, it just straight pumped to the upside. And that's how it played out. And how I took my entry and how I was managing it. So for the TPs, like, it can also, um, um, it can also say like, this is your change of character, people can also think that, and then this would be your supply zone. So I understand why people short from this, and you can also see that in this da bearish down candle over here. It indicates, like, people seeing this as a supply zone. Valid because they see this as their change of character. And um, that's where they shorted. And that's also where they got trapped because the higher time frame is bullish. But it can also just respect this, ignoring all the all the other stuff, all the the, the higher time frame trend, and just melt because the market uh, does whatever it wants. It doesn't care about you or your analysis. And that's why I took partials over here. As you can see, it gave a strong reaction to the downside and maybe even confirmed. But because we know our higher time frame is bullish, we know we want to long it. That's why the higher time frame buy is also so important. So uh, yeah, that perfectly played out. Uh, from there, I was aiming for that uh, daily high, uh, which did get broken uh, just now. But before it got broken, it came back because it made a new high and there's place for a retracement. And also, you could consider this as equal lows, relative equal lows. So that can be liquidity and there is still imbalance over here. So that's, and you will see that now, uh, let me go to the one minute. And that's the reason why it broke these lows, tapped my break even and then pushed for the upside. Because there were also a lot of stop losses over here. And it simply grabbed those stop lo losses and pumped for the upside. And as you can see, we broke the daily high. Boom. So this would also be a very nice setup. From here. And you can also see this also sub liquidity. There's also a strong indication from, yo, this makes this zone even more valid. This swap liquidity, there's a lot of stop losses over here, a lot of lows, a lot of sell side liquidity. From there, it beautifully confirmed. Well, beautifully, let's see. I want to see that with my own eyes. Um, yeah, it's a bit risky, I would say. Um, so let's go to this setup now. If you wanted to take it, it's fine, but it would be risky as there's no real change of character over here. Your first uh, clean change of character on the 30 second one minute will be this one. Or maybe this one, but I would say this one. And if you see, if you look at this, at this impulse, it touches 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So it could just from here, and there's also some kind of um, support uh, and resistance zone. So it could easily just mitigate this um, um, this premium zone and then melt again. 
So that's also why you can watch for confirmation over here, including this zone. Translate this. So um, then going back, I like this all probabilities. Like you could perfectly fly uh, along this. But you didn't have a real conf clean confirmation over here. Well, it broke something over here, but that could be your change of character. But it swept afterwards. And uh, yeah, still, if, if you want to long it, you could long it from this break, uh, for example, uh, with your stop loss below. But also, this move to the upside could also be a mitigation of this supply zone to continue its downtrend because this broke structure to the downside. And if you follow that break of structure or that change of character, you wait for a pullback and you short it, that's also possible. So that's also why I always, always say think in probabilities. You can be 100% right. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I would take this. I don't think so. Because this swept these lows, so I would expect maybe a pullback and a sell-off. Um, but yeah, it's, it's perfectly uh, fine respected the, uh, the daily bias in this case. So that's it for this video. Um, I want to go deeper in this daily bias thing uh, right now, basically, or in the next video. Um, I will do a core video right now. And... Um, I will see when I finish it. Maybe I'll upload it tonight. Maybe I'll upload it this weekend. Maybe next week. We will see. I will uh, update you guys, uh, of course, on that. So, um, yeah, guys, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you learned a lot from it. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.